Hello, hello, my name is Jani. Welcome to my channel. This is a cross stitch channel. I am a Mexican stitcher, and this is a channel about cross stitch. Uh, welcome. Uh, if you are a, a new subscriber, welcome. Hope you like it here. We talk about cross stitch and 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 we have fun. <laughs> and if you are if you are already a, a, a subscriber, thank you very much for being here with me. Um, I hope you enjoy this uh, these minutes with me today with um, a weekly report <laughs> of my of my stitching. I just record my my Spanish um, video, so I'm going to start here where I ended in my Spanish video. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> um, so yeah, these these are the the projects that I have. Um, you know, currently on process, I have many whips work in progress. I have a, a, a full uh, trunk of, of um, you know, project bags and, and whips, more than 100, I guess. I don't know, I, I have never counted them, but they are all lovely and I love them all. <laughs> but but uh, right now I have a few working projects, work in progress, <laughs> that I've been uh, starting this year. So. I, I'm planning to finish these projects soon, so yeah, let me let me show you. Uh, this is um, from uh, Butternut Road, is Children's Garden. It's a beautiful design. Um, it's a really old uh, design by Marilyn Imblum, Marilyn Levitt Imblum, <laughs> the uh, Nora Corbett's mom, and I have always, you know, really liked this this design. And I decided to, I, I got this pattern uh, a, a few years ago. And, you know, for, for one reason or another, I haven't, I, I hadn't st started this, but I decided to, you know what? If you want to see this project uh, done, you actually have to stitch it. So <laughs> I am using this uh, fabric. This is a Lugana 32 that I dyed. And it's always, you know, hard to to see the true colors of a, a hand dye fabric, but the the border, the outer um, space of the of the fabric, it's a little dark, darker that than the center of the fabric. And I am going to use, um, you know, the 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 DMC colors, uh, but I decided to to change uh, the the colors of the of the letters because the the color of the of the DMC for the letters was really similar to the, the color of, of my fabric. So I decided to use uh, variegated uh, DMC floss. It's the number 4505. And I love it. And um, yeah, I, I just, you know, start making a, a few crosses and I'm so in love with this project. <laughs> I will probably uh, make um, a conversion in the hair and in the skin of the of the children but yeah i love it i love the colors i i love everything about this design it's so classic so pretty everything so i have my my fabric i am using dmc and some uh cxc Sorry for the interruption time. um so yeah i i am using cxc dmc the the fabric it's a lugana 32 that i dyed and i am stitching one over two, which I love to stitch on Lugana 32, one over two. You know, uh, always uh, stitching with, with one thread, it feels so nice right now. <laughs> so I I am trying uh, 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 many of my projects lately with just one one thread and really, really enjoying the, the you know, the, the process. So this is a project that I probably will be um, doing or focus on these uh, next weeks. I, I really want to see, you know, the, the full uh, design here. Oh my God, so many beautiful colors. Other of the of the whips that I have from this year is by Scarlet, the Scarlet House Smith Sampler. This is a lovely project. Uh, again, watching the, the, the floss tube where they show this uh, finished sampler or the, the pictures on Instagram, oh, I always you know, I have that urge to, to finish this project and and I have it and I have the, the colors. I 
I did a conversion. I am using some uh, silks and some CXC flosses and, you know, using my, my own conversion. But I love it. And the fabric, it's, um, it's a fabric that I dyed. It's a 36, 38 um, cotton fabric that I dyed. It's, I love this fabric. It looks so pretty and with these colors and the design. Again, <laughs> I'm so in love of these projects and I really want to, to, to stitch a lot of them, but time is the, the thing that I'm missing. <laughs> the creativity is there, the materials, the flosses, but the time is not quite enough. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really love this project and I want to to, to uh, be stitching this this design. Uh, the last project that I start this year and I really, really love is this uh, very classic um, sampler uh, with these roses and the, the lovely doll stitched one over one. And here I am using, again, a conversion from some of the materials that I have in my stash. Uh, these are silk uh, flosses and some DMC. And I'm making the, the conversion very similar to the original design with a little, you know, different touches because of the colors. But I love it. Again, <laughs> I, I am totally in love of these three projects and I really want to see all three, you know, finish in, in a few months because they are so pretty and I love them so much. The the thing with, with this work in progress is that um, I am enjoying my time with uh, each one of them and it's, it's not a race to, to finish them, but it's just this, this joy of being able of stitching projects that I love so much. <laughs> I mean, I, I almost all my projects I, I teach them because I love them. But um, yeah, in this case, I, I am really aware <laughs> of the of the love for, for this three, um, you know, work in project, uh, work in progress, whips. <laughs> you know what I mean. But yeah, this is another one of my, my whips. And I, this is my office uh, project. So I only stitch, you know, 20 minutes every day, so not much, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I am enjoyed it. And <clears throat> I only need to, to finish, only need, well, it's like half of the project, but I, I need to finish this, this border. Uh, here are little roses and the, the letters that are missing. But yeah, so happy. Again, this is a Lugana 32 and I am stitching one over two. The coverage is so nice, I mean, I, I don't know what why I uh, stitch um, you know projects uh, on on 32 with two two threads because with one it looks so nice <laughs> and it's so much comfortable to stitch with one floss instead of two at least for me <laughs> so yeah these are my my work in progress whips <laughs> of this year finally ta da <laughs> my finished project. Um, my Mermaids by uh, Mirabilia, The Twisted Mermaids. Uh, this is a project that I start on, on January, you know, at the beginning of the year. And I love it so much. I use uh, these uh, rayon uh, flosses. They are so shiny and it was a surprise because they were, they were really comfortable to stitch with. I don't know, it perhaps was a, a combination of the count on of the fabric and I, I only use one, one thread of the rayon flosses, but the coverage is so pretty and it was very easy to work with. And I love the, 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 the finish, the look of the, of the project. I, I didn't use um, a water lilies, you know, the, the silks, water lilies or metallics. I use only uh, rayon and for the skin I use a uh, conversion with CXC uh, flosses which are these uh, polyester uh, flosses. So I have this uh, palette of, of darker uh, skin color uh, because I love to, to make my, my 
lately my mirabilias, you know, uh, with a darker skin. But yeah, the, the skin is stitched with um, CXC, and the rest of the of the project uh, was stitched uh, with rayon. I use um, local uh, beads, uh, you know, and and because I change the the all the colors because the the brand of, of rayon thread that uh, that I use doesn't have you know all the 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 colors of DMC, I, I I was trying to make, you know, this, this conversion. So at the end, I, I use uh, beads according with the colors that I end <laughs> with, um, you know, in my, in my project, not necessarily the, the colors of the original design. Um, but I, I love it. I love um, this contrast between you know the 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 hair of the mermaids and and the tails is so pretty um it's like a, a balance you know uh this large space and and the 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 hair is so 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 beautiful and in the original design this uh you can see that my colors are different <laughs> um the 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 colors of the hair are more like green and in my in my project because i use more blue colors they look like uh, ocean waves and i love it it's like this movement of waves and it's really really pretty uh, and in the in the tails um again my my colors are darker are different so the the effect of this beautiful design it's a little um you know stronger with the, the colors I don't know I, I love it and this um, all these beading you know uh, looking like um, uh, ocean waves so pretty and uh, when I was recording the uh, my last video showing a little bit of, of the, the beading process I was telling you that um, this tail it, it was really you know pretty and fancy and with a lot of beads and this one is more subtle <laughs> so i have to add a little extra so i i added this uh trail of, of beads that are not in the original design and i added um these three crystals to to give a little more you know impact <laughs> to this uh, uh part of the design but yeah i i really really love the the final result um the the fishes and these like flowers give the the design so much movement and it's so pretty <laughs> and for for this design i haven't you know lace it or or frame it you know properly i don't have a, a frame uh of this you know measure of, or of this size so i i need to keep looking <laughs> so once i have the right frame i will show you uh with the with the frame and you know properly finish but right now i i so in love with this design the details and i was um talking in my spanish video that this design um it it's so pretty but is until you start uh, stitching the the project that you start um, you then start um, discovering you know the, the little secrets and the little details and the little treasures that for at least for me I I don't even you know <laughs> look at the at the first sight uh, but once I start stitching I start discovering all these different things and. Especially, I don't know, with, with Mirabilias, it's it really, you know, you found this trail of, of beads or of flowers and the, the ocean waves. And it's really, really interesting. And I love it. I love uh, stitching Mirabilias. So, yeah. <laughs> and the, the new Mirabilia Blossom, it's so pretty. Oh. And I attach my, my beads with um, this uh, nylon thread. It's the... Wonder Invisible Thread, and I was, um, you know, thinking a little bit that it was funny how, you know, all these colors and this lovely design and the, and the flosses that I use, uh, I got inspiration for my next project from this <laughs> nylon thread because um, 
I was, you know, attaching the, the crystals and, and the beads, and it was the, the last uh, part of, of my process. And I don't know if, if it, it happens to you, but one, the, the, the process of, of stitching a project, it's really interesting. You know, for me, um, at the beginning is this excitement and this happiness of having, you know, the materials and having all these possibilities and making conversions. In, in my case, I love to make personalizations and, and try to find, you know, the, the, the perfect fabric and the flosses and the beads and everything. And it's like a, a roller coaster of, of emotions. So at the beginning, I'm really, really happy and really excited, and you know, and and then uh, I, I start stitching and you know making. For example, in, in Mirabilias, I love to start with the faces, and I love the face, and that gives me um, a boost, <laughs> a new motivation to keep, you know, going and going. And and then you you start to feel a little tired, <laughs> a little boring, and more with these projects that are, you know, rather large and you start stitching and stitching and stitching. And you, you, I love to make m pictures of my progress to, to feel or to see that I'm, you know, making progress. <laughs> um, because sometimes I stitch and stitch and stitch and you feel like you didn't go anywhere. <laughs> and, and then uh, when you, you see that you're practically done, you start with this emotion again and, and this, uh, you know, um, motivation and you finish the project. And in my case, when I finish the project, I start this uh, period of like um, sadness. <laughs> I don't know if that's the, the word. Like you have to, to take a break because you have all these emotions <laughs> and, and you finish the project. And in my case, I, I, I don't have like the energy to start or to keep stitching in something new um, or, or something else because I I feel like a little drain <laughs> from, from the emotion and the rush and the, you know, the experience of finish this. So I, I was attaching the, the, the beads and I, I was looking at this, this floss, which is a really tricky to, to work with because it's at the end it's plastic and you know but I love the, the look because it's actually invisible <laughs> and I remember that I had a, a project that I start you know a, a few stitches and the, the project was let me show you this um, by Rosewood Manor Keys to the Kingdom and I start you know with the central um, key but I really didn't like the letters in this uh, project. I, I love to stitch letters in my samplers and, and making phrases in Spanish and, you know, making translation. And, but in this particular um, project, the, the letters, I don't know, I feel a little, you know, not entirely at my, at my taste. So I remember this project and, and I remember that I have these um, little uh, keys like um like little treasure and i said you know what i can you know stitch this project without the letters and with the, the little you know keys and attach the kids with um th this thread i can use this thread for for my keys in this project instead of the letters that i don't like it. so i i i was thinking about it and Immediately after I finished my, my mermaids, I decided to keep <laughs> stitching on this one, you know, as, as part of, of this process. And I finished this project. <laughs> I use um, this um, Solky thread by Gutterman. It's number 4022, 4022. And the fabric, it's a Lugana 32 that I dyed. And this is the final project, <laughs> you know, my, my version without the letters, a little um, smaller because I had this uh, frame and I really like this frame with, with the uh, fabric and the color of the, of the thread. And I decided to, to adjust the, the, the general measure of the, of the project to, you know, to, to accommodated in my frame so yeah <laughs> this is 
my version of Keys to the Kingdom by Rosewood Manor. And I love it. And and the you know the 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 keys are, are attached with the uh, nylon thread. So this is another uh, finish that I, I did. It's a, a really small project, not, not a, a large one. And I added uh, specialty stitches and I, I play with the, the placement of the stitched keys to, to accommodate you know the, the, the design inside my, my frame and also to give the space to, to put all these uh, little keys. <laughs> so I really, really like the, the final result. Uh, they look so pretty. They look uh, so so chic, <laughs> so elegant. <laughs> so refreshing <laughs> and yeah i love it one of my daughters when when she saw this project she she said you know what mom this is mine take your pictures um made your video <laughs> but i'm going to um take this this piece with me so yeah <laughs> but i love it i love it and it was really easy it was uh, i i was really motivated with the idea of the keys and the stitched keys and the you know the keys and the um nylon thread so yeah <laughs> this is another um surprising uh fully finished object uh so yeah very, very happy with the result and right now i i finish both projects and i'm thinking <laughs> what to stitch next <laughs> because i feel you know in this uh, morning period like a little sad like uh taking um you know, impulse to start new things. And I need to start a, another project because on February 21st is my birthday, you know. <laughs> and I, I always invite, uh, you know, other teachers to celebrate with me on my birthday on February 21st, starting a new project. So, if you want to start a new project, I it's my birthday gift, so you can start anything you want, <laughs> and you can celebrate with me. I have a, um, a hashtag in, in Spanish, it's Jani uh, Medio Permiso, Jani Give Me Permission, uh, let me do it. <laughs> so, yeah, you can start anything you want. And I don't have a project to start, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I as I was telling you um my my three whips right now are so pretty and I want to work on them and I don't know if I want to start a new thing uh, I mean I have the permission <laughs> I can do it but I also can keep stitching on whatever I want so I don't know if I can uh, if I will start something new uh, I will let you know in my next video, but I am inviting you to celebrate with me and start something new if you want. And, you know, have have fun with your projects. And this, this different, you know, creative process are so individual, but at the same time, I'm sure many of the teachers who are watching me have this same um, experience. And we can be, you know, uh, together and creating these bonds, uh, these bonding uh, uh, ways of, of stitching and ways of looking at our stitching. So it's really interesting. I, I love, you know, talking about cross stitch and <laughs> all these different things that we love to do. So yeah, this is my my project, my, my uh, weekly report uh, with these two um, finishes one fully finished fully finished project and the other one this lovely uh, mermaids still not iron or, or frame it but yeah really lovely experiences both of them and that is my my report for for today i hope you have you had a, a a good time <laughs> listen me um talking about cross stitch and sharing you know projects and materials and topics related to cross stitch i hope you can join me in my next video i hope you can uh, join me in my celebration starting something new on february 21st and and share with me what what motivates you what um with all this cross stitch 
what are the, the process, <laughs> what are the stage that you pass when, when you stitch a, a project. So thank you for being here with me. Um, please subscribe and, and you know put the, the little bell. Uh, if you want to, to buy me a cup of coffee for coffee or for new projects, for new materials or new patterns, I would let the, the link below um, to buy me a coffee. So yeah, this is my, my report for today. Thank you for being here with me. Have a great weekend. Uh, you know, get ready with a new project, with a new start, and celebrate with me on February 21st. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.